So you claim to have this big scary love for Sonny? Let me tell you what I know. Love's sacrifice. So if what you and Sonny have is real, you'll walk away and leave Sonny with his precious illusion of you and Dante. I mean, better for Sonny to suffer a small heartbreak with you leaving than to find out that you had a kid with Dante. Did you sleep with your mother's husband? <laughs> and lie about who Michael's father was to about a million different men? And now you're trying to make Sonny unhappy? And we all know why, Carly. We all understand what's happening here because Carly needs to be front and center at all times in Sonny's life. Right? And that is why your marriage with Jax never had a chance. There's your cue. See, you can walk outside and get in the limo I have waiting for you, or you can walk down the aisle. But if you do that, the whole world's gonna know about this. So what's it gonna be? Hey, I uh, saw the conference in the corner. Does Sonny have any idea what's keeping the bride? Could be any number of reasons. Huh. Any of them involve bullets? <laughs> I guess Christina neglected to mention I'd need my Kevlar for this evening's yeah, festivities. You, you just keep your head down, you'll be fine. <laughs> Not sure about everybody else, though. You okay? Oh, um... The Jackal's Pallor is due in large part to the extensive amount of internet scouring he does during peak daylight hours. Pasty white complexion is the price you pay for cyber dominance. You're very sweaty. Um, oh. Jackal has um, a condition called hyperhidrosis. It's very common among adolescents, but it's left untreated. Brenda, did she get threatened by the Balkans? There are potential other obstacles to that. <clears throat> music changed. Maybe that's some tactful way to tell Brenda to hurry up because we're all waiting. Yeah, well, clearly it's not effective. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should go see what's going on. I, I might be able to help. So. Wait, uh, go ahead and sit down. I, I'll take care. We're going to start in a few minutes. I appreciate your patience. What's going on? I'm sorry for Jason. Robin was trying to buy some time before she broke the news to Brenda. I was trying to convince Edward to walk Brenda down the aisle, but right. he's flat out refusing. See, I have certain principles. I refuse to be a party to marrying someone off to a mobster. But you, you'll, you'll, you'll sit in there, right, and watch us say our vows? That's not hypocritical? Oh, I'd be more of a hypocrite if I married her off to you, knowing that she could do much better. Okay, can we not do this right now, Edward? Please? My daughter's right oh, here? Well, I talked with her earlier, and if in the future, God forbid, she should attempt to marry a blackguard like you, you'd see to it that the man disappeared that day. Edward, of course you're entitled to your opinion, but whatever you may think, Brenda and Sonny are getting married today. No. Okay, I'm out of you. Well, well, wait, where are you going? No, I'm just going to go no. get Brenda because we have to do this now. No, no, no you no. can't see the bride before the, the wedding. It's that book. And Christina's right. You and Brenda have overcome so many obstacles to get here, so why jinx it now? And Brenda wouldn't want you to see the wedding dress until she's walking down the aisle. Talk about bad luck. It couldn't get any worse than the fact that this travesty is actually going to happen. You're not here to babysit me. Okay, well, I don't have time for games, so will you tell me what you want? You can start by taking off your clothes. Go to hell. If you want me to keep your secret, you're going to have to find a way to make me happy. Okay, you know what? You only have a syringe. You could have gotten it from anywhere, and you have no proof that I was going to use it on Robin. 
Okay, fine. Walk out. My next call will be to Patrick. Confirm what he already suspects. You know, he's been looking for any excuse to make you the villain. I call Patrick and it'll kill any chance you ever had of being with the guy. Patrick will be done with you. You'd do it, wouldn't you? Well, you really are just like my sister. After the Balkans men grabbed you, do you, do you remember them saying anything specific? Only to keep my mouth shut. Or they'd cut up my tongue so I couldn't scream for help. I know this isn't easy. But you may have the key to catching this bastard. All I remember is being terrified. Take your time. No detail is too small. When the Balkans men were speaking to each other, was it in English? Mostly. Some of them had accents, so certain words were harder to understand than others. Did you ever hear them call each other by name. Not in front of me. And what about the Balkan? Did you ever speak to him in person? As far as I know, neither did his men. They'd sit around, waiting for the Balkan to phone with instructions. He, he didn't much like it when they called him. And the guards told you that? They didn't have to. I heard the Balkan yelling at one of his men for interrupting his time with his wife. Wait, the, the Balkan has a wife? Danny, hmm. what did Robin want? For me to compromise my principles, but I stood firm. Wish I could say the same for Brenda. I'd cheer up, mate. There's an open bar at the reception. There isn't enough scotch in all the world to avoid this disaster. We might just as well be passengers on the Titanic. Titanic got a better band. <laughs> well, it seems all that worrying was for nothing. It looks like the wedding's gonna happen. So, uh, here's what's going on. I apologize for the delay again, but a, a member of the wedding party uh, didn't show up. So we've decided to, uh, we're going to start the ceremony without him. You look gorgeous. Really? Yeah, like you stepped right out of a fairy tale. I can't breathe, is that okay? <laughs> no. Okay. The look <sighs> on Sunny's face said it all. I'm so happy for you. I love you. You never fail to disappoint. I know this might be hard for you to comprehend, but today is not about you, so why are you here? Oh, I wouldn't miss this wedding for the world. Mom looks happy. A little too happy. <clears throat> you win. Still think love is enough? I doubt it'll hold a candle to Carly's wrath. Pay attention, Daddy. Things are about to get really interesting. And the lifeboats. The iceberg just hit the bow. Look, this is your wedding, okay? We're here for you. Everyone in that room is here for you and Sunny. Don't let Carly ruin anything. Oh my God! Thank God! Where have you been? The wedding was supposed to start 30 minutes ago. I am ago. so sorry. This was all my fault. He was helping me on a case. It's okay. You're here. That's all that matters. Yes. What's up? What happened? Did you catch Theo? Well, uh, when we went to the hotel room, he wasn't there. So Mom and Brenda are still in danger. No, 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 no. Don't you worry about it. Note that. 
Now that we know Theo is the Vulcan, everything is going to be okay. Don't worry about it. Jason. Yeah? Carly just showed up like she owns the place. Do you have any idea what she's up to? No. Okay, well, if she starts to cause a scene or something, can you just get her out of there? Of course. I'll do what I can. See? Everything's fine. You ready? Still ready to do this? Get dressed. Okay, what the hell is going on with you? First you tell me to get undressed, and now you're telling me to basically leave as quickly as possible. How am I supposed to give you what you want when you don't even know? I don't know. I don't want to be anything like Sonny. Then you should probably find a different line of work. This isn't a joke, Lisa. This road that you traveled down with Patrick, same road my sister traveled down with Sonny. I stood by for months and watched as Claudia degraded herself by chasing after a man who despised her until it eventually drove her insane. And she would have done anything for Sonny's affection and his love, and she did. She let Sonny's brother blackmail her into sleeping with him, and she followed through with it just like you were about to do with me. Well, you didn't give me much choice. How about the choice of respecting yourself, huh? And finding a man who will do the same, but it ain't gonna be Patrick, it never will be. You don't know Patrick the way I do. I know he loves Robin. Come on, Lisa, you are a beautiful, smart, strong woman, just like Claudia, who could have been anything, done anything, and she threw it all away to be with Sonny. The guy treated her like dirt, used her up, and eventually destroyed her. Now he's married to some supermodel, and she's rotting away in the ground. Don't you see? That's exactly what's waiting for you.